there is nothing, nothing impossible. No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult because you're with me. I am not afraid, not too hard for you. Hello, friends. Welcome to Little Village and our brand new series called Toy Box. Do you know what time it is? It's time to worship. This is our chance to dance and sing and tell God how much we love Him. Why? Because God loves me and God loves you. We have a brand new song that you will love to sing. So let's get on our feet and sing this out together. There is nothing, nothing impossible. No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult. Because you're with me, you're with me. I am not afraid. Nothing is too hard for you. With you, I can do very big things. God, with you, I can do very big things. I know it's true. I can do very big things. You're with me. I know it's I am feeling brave when you are with me. I am not afraid. God, you are with me. So I can be strong. Cause nothing is too hard for you. No. Nothing is too hard and nothing is too big for God. The best part is that God is always with us. We can face anything, no matter what, because we are not alone. When I ask, who is always with you? You say, God is always with me. Who is always with you? That's right, God is always with me. We've got a brand new verse to learn together this month. Let's learn it together and then we get to hear a true story from the Bible, which today is about a little baby called Moses. We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8. We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder
Poppy. I'm going to my grandma's house for a sleepover. Let's see. I have my pajamas. Oh, and I'll need to clean my teeth. So, I need to bring my toothbrush. I can't wait to do all this fun stuff. All my cousins are gonna be there. There's my cousin Ellie, she loves to dance. My cousin Willow will be there too. She finds the best bedtime stories for us to read. And I can't forget my cousin Shay. She thinks of the best treats for us to make. I can't wait to do all this fun stuff. And then I'll get to sleep all cozy in my sleeping bag on Grandma's floor. Except I've never slept anywhere but my own bed. That's why I'm taking Mr. Bear. If I'm afraid, I can cuddle him super tight and he can help me be brave. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Hoo, hoo. Going on a sleepover at Grandma's, are you? Hey, Ollie. Yes, I am. I'm super excited, but I'm also afraid. Sometimes being brave is hard. It's true. But I know someone who can help you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, friends. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. I'm so happy to see you today. Do you want to see my latest creation? cute? Each one has a little baby cradle on it because today's story starts with a baby. Are you ready to hear it? If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins, like I said, with the baby and his mom. <laughs> Look at how sweet he is. His name is baby Moses. You can tell his mom loves him so much. <laughs> but there was a mean king and he wanted to get rid of all the baby boys in God's family. Everyone say, oh no, <gasps> oh no. Moses' mom wanted to protect her baby. She knew that God was always with her and would always be with baby Moses. That helped her be brave. So, she and her daughter Miriam went down to the river and hid Moses in a basket in the tall grass. Then, Miriam hid and watched to see what would happen. Let's help Moses' sister watch. Tell me if you see anything. Do you see something? Oh, oh it's a bunny! <laughs> Hi, bunny. <laughs> okay, keep watching. Do you see something? <gasps> what is it? <laughs> it's a jumping fish. How fun. Keep watching. I think I hear someone. <gasps> <gasps> it's the princess. Do you think she's going to help baby Moses? <gasps> Look, she's holding baby Moses. She's going to bring him home and keep him safe. But wait. She needs someone to help her take care of the baby. Moses' sister, Miriam, came out from behind the tall grass and told the princess, I know who can help with the baby. It was Moses' mom. Moses' mom can help. This is so great. Baby Moses is safe and he still gets to be with his mom. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, God. You were with her the whole time. Do you know what? No matter where you go or what you do, God is always with you too. God is always with us. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey there, Ollie, tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? 
God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God was with Moses and his mom, and God is always with you and me, too. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God was with Moses' mom and helped her be brave. And God is always with us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm still taking Mr. Bear with me, but I don't need him to be brave because God is with me. I'm ready to go. See you all next time. Bye! Isn't that amazing? Wherever we go or whatever we do, God is always with us. When I ask, who is always with you? You shout, God is always with me. Who is always with you? Yeah, God is always with you. And just like he helped Moses' mum be brave, God will help us be brave too. It's time to pray, so let's close our eyes and talk to God together. God, you are awesome. We know that just like you were with Moses' mum and his sister Miriam, you are with us too. We can be brave because you are with us. Thank you, God. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us this week. For those of us that are in the room, we're going to do some craft together. I hope you have some fun with that. Next week, I'm going to introduce you to two of my friends, Emily and Helen. They're going to be taking over from me and I'm going to be moving up to transit and motion with our young people. I'll still be around so I would love to see you. See you again soon.